blue skies. I, th I think it's summertime now. I'm not sure. So here I am once again back at the carving location. I'm non-stop on this stuff guys. I'm non-stop. Go, 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 go. So uh, my buddy Gordy brought me over some stuff yesterday. It's the same guy that uh, I did the monster birdhouse for, okay? So he's very anal about his yard and he just likes to have a nice place. Okay, so he picked up the birdhouse, the monster birdhouse. He loves it. And he has these, um, let me explain it. He has these old logs sitting in his garden. So he wondered if I could clean them out for him. Okay, so here's one here. And here's another one here. So I said, Gordy, like, it's probably easier for me just to go to the beach and get you a new piece of wood than clean all these bullshit up. You know what I mean? He's like, well, they kind of fit nice in my garden and this and that. And, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, Gordy. Uh, so I said to him, I'll clean them up for him. So he wants a wood spirit here. This is kind of punky wood here. Not that punky, but punky. It does. It's not gonna be like a crazy detailed thing. It's just gonna be the silhouette of a wood spirit with his beard blowing here, like face here, beard blowing here. And he wants a succulent plant holder here too. So this is what I'm gonna work on today. And he wants all this outside cleaned up. So I don't know if I'm gonna burn it, then clean it, or just clean it. I gotta try different approaches. And I don't have my normal tripod here, guys, so I'm gonna, I'll do the best that I can at filming But when I'm doing stuff, but we'll see what happens, okay? So there's going to be a wood spirit here. And this is like a root, right? You can see all these little burl things. So wood spirit here blowing this way. And a succulent plant holder here. And he wants the thing cleaned up. And even the goddamn backside cleaned up too. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's get a visual of this piece. Okay, so there's this one here too. But I'll do that another day. So I want to show you guys what tools I'm going to use, okay? No chainsaws today. I need a break for them anyways after that stump. So I'm going to be using my Manpa. Okay. You guys can just go to the Manpa site to get these tools or see how much they cost or whatever. There's the website right here. They're in Korea. Real nice, helpful people. Really super friendly people. So Mampa tools, okay? So this is what I'll be using today, if I need them. Here's my tools, okay? I'm going to show you guys them all. This is on a Bostich grinder. It's an attachment that you get, right? Like, see? It's easy to put on your grinders. It's got a little belt there, see it? This is like a triangle cutter. I forget what it's called. I don't know what the name for these. This is on a... Dewalt grinder and this is another cutter okay I'm leaving the guards on these tools guys I'm leaving those guards on because if these things hit you you're going to the hospital you're going to the hospital without any doubts so those guards are staying off like my grinder here I take the guard off because well if this hits you you're gonna get cut but you might not have to go to the hospital but if these little cutters hit you you're going to the hospital okay so that's those two. I got this whole gouger here. This is Mampa Tools too. This thing works wicked. This is just a shitty grinder. I need to get a better one. Here's another shitty grinder with the cut saw shaping disc. You guys go to the cut saw site if you want to get these discs. They will be in the description below. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. Okay. I got this wire wheel. I hate using them because when you use these wire wheels, the little wire things fly off and they stick in your skin. So like you could be having a shower later and you're wiping your skin and all of a sudden there's a piece of piece of little steel stuck in there. Eye protection when you use this shit guys. Okay, I got a little hand flap sander thick. I got a bunch of these my buddy gave me. This is like what, I don't know, this is 40 grit. And that would go on here. This would go on the grinder. You guys, if you don't, if these are too aggressive tools for you, you guys can use these too. Lots of pro carvers just use these. Okay, I got the Dewalt di electric di uh, battery powered die grinder, 20 volt with a cut saw burr in there, extreme flame shape. Got the Makita grinder with this uh, cut saw burr extreme. Okay, I got this uh, pl Makita's plug-in. This one's plug-in old school. My good friend Pete got me back 
maybe a year ago. It's a Craftsman with the extreme flame burn there, cuts off. Got this drill with the little bristle breast thing on there. Get these in my Amazon store, guys. Just go to the description below, go to my Amazon store. Got a Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft hooked up. What do I have in here? Another Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr, guys. These are my favorite burrs, the Cuts All Extremes. Okay, this is something, uh, I got my torch. This is a turbo torch. I think this is the best torches that they make. They blow the hottest. Turbo torch, see it? Okay. Uh, this is a little finger sander I bought a couple years ago. Years ago, I haven't even used a thing. So, I know Makita makes really good ones. And this one's not really that big, but I'll try it out today if I need it. 100% my dust mask, because it's going to be dusty as hell. Um, and uh, water, and coffee, and uh, this little tripod holder I got. And Okay, I'm going to figure out what uh, is the best way to clean this thing up. I think I am. So yeah, I, and I will be burning lots of this. Like, I just don't know if I could be able to carve a wood spirit in this wood here. Anyways, I'm going to start cleaning it. Yep. Oh, another thing I got too, I want to show you guys. I got this long spade bit, okay? This once again was from my friend Pete. And this, I'll be using after I get this uh, succulent plant holder to make uh, drain holes in it, right? Okay, there you go. Okay, another thing lots of you guys have been uh, talking about is this jaw horse, right? To do my carvings. This was just a wood spirit I just started blocking out. Uh, I spent like half an hour on it with my manpa tools yesterday before I went and carved my chain. My uh, worked on the th uh, big throne chair. But I think I'm going to do today is take this. There, watch. <laughs> Let's see how this jaw, ho jaw ho ho horse works. I click it. I think Kyle Hall just got one and did a review video okay so there's lock there's unlock so I unlocked it you got your foot pedal down there you just hit your foot pedal it's unlocked pull the piece out and there you go okay so what I'm gonna do here is I think I'm gonna pull my jaw horse over here and kind of do it outside today because I don't want to be stuck in here it's gonna be a cooker and uh, I just want to get some Sun and some fresh air right so that's what I'm gonna do Okay, so there you go. Easy as one, two, three. I might have to spin it around though because you don't really see too well on this uh, side of the tent, right? So if I film from here, you get a lot better view. So, you guys, I also have these in, these a bunch of these different style uh, workhorses thing clamps in my Amazon store. And if you buy one from my Amazon store, uh, believe me, I'm not getting rich, but you help out the channel, right? So go to my Amazon store in the description you'll see a bunch of different styles of these ones okay okay guys change your plan again I just brought it back put it on the table you can't see good enough when it's on the uh, jaw horse there you know like when you got a brain injury it's like your freaking bipolar or ADHD I'm gonna do this no I'm gonna do this you just can't make up your freaking mind okay well my mind's made up that's where it's gonna stay okay my first approach I'm just gonna try right here I'm gonna try burning it and then I'll try and clean it with the wire uh, my bristle brush and see how that works. If not, I'm going to have to use my uh, cut saw a bit with the, on the grinder. And I think I'm running out of goddamn propane. Okay, so the burning will work. Sorry guys, I have to use... Okay, anyways, the burning will work. Okay, so I said to myself, well, why do I need to burn it? Why can't I just get the, the, the bristle brush and clean it up? Well, this is just with the bristle brush, okay? You can see the spots and stuff still in here. This is burning. So burning it is way better. Way cleaner, right? So burning, not burning. Burning, not burning. Uh, people don't realize these things take out these things take a lot of work. They think oh, yeah I'll just clean up the wood and just put a cyclone plant hole and put a goddamn wood spare in there. Done! Okay, so bipolar Jordy thought he would try one more thing. I thought I'd try a shot at uh, using this cut saw This is gonna be the most work using this. Ah, okay, so let me try. Uh, I'll try it uh, right here Can't film guys. I don't have my freaking tripod! Okay, so I used the cut saw shaping disc. You guys can see here this wood's punkier than hell, but Gordy said that he will put the finish on it, whatever he wants to do, right? 
So that works the best. I hit it here, I hit it here. When you're using that, you can take the surface uh, rotten wood off too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around this whole thing and with that, uh, with the cut saw, shaping disc. This is an extreme disc, guys. I'll put my mask on. Uh, it will take me about 40 million years and just uh, clean up. I'm not gonna be able to get into here. So this stuff, I'll just burn it and then I'll hit it with my flap sander, right? So, anyways, yeah, okay, we'll see you guys in about 30 years. Yeah, so I just want to say when you're uh, cleaning up this rotten wood, it's messy as all, well, it's messy as a pig in its pen. It's messy stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you guys can see now I got it all cleaned up with my grinder, okay? With the cuts all shaping disc. But this is all punky in here. There's nothing I can do, and Gordy knows that, and he understands. He wants the wood spirit carved here, but... I don't know because all this wood in here is pretty punky so I don't know if it's going to take. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lightly burn this stuff, okay? Where it's clean, it's all spalted and punky in here. Lightly burn that, but then when, like in an area like here, where I can't get my grinder, I'm going to burn deep in there, right? And then after I'm done burning it, then I'll use the bristle thing. Hi Liz! Okay guys, so I got the whole thing burnt to as much as I want to burn it. So you can see I burn inside the deep points in there and stuff like that. So this thing's smoldering away. No big deal, it's just smoldering away the freaking rot, right? So I got a little spray bottle full of water here, watch. You, oh no, it's smoldering. Not anymore, almost. Not anymore, almost. So anyways, guys, I do have a fire extinguisher right there, so just be safe. That's the biggest thing, right? So now what I got to do is... Ah, okay, I got this whole thing burnt around. Now I got to run around with my uh, little bristle thing and clean it up. Okay, so... That's what it looks like now. This whole freaking log is rotten. You know, so I already called him. I told him I cannot carve a wood spirit in here. It's just too rotten I'll, and I won't do it. That's the bottom. So he's like, well, can you carve like a couple flowers on here? Like the dogwoods? I says, yeah, I'll try. Okay, fine, I'll try. But uh, I don't know. It's just too rotten, guys. So anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out my uh, hole gouger from Map Man Patools and take this uh, pull this succulent plant holder out here okay so this is just a cheap grinder I suggest getting a better grinder this is like a two inch hole cutter I believe you see the teeth on there I don't know how I'm gonna film because I definitely got to have two hands on this uh, tool so I'm gonna start gouging out this hole for his succulent plants And I'll just film this. Oh, you? Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's good. Okay, guys, so I brought my uh, 034 in. I slice the face of it off to try and get some harder wood. There's some harder wood there so I can do his little flowers. And uh, I got the drain holes carved in here. I got this carved about uh, two, three inches deep. Uh, I, got, I put a little succulent plant holder here too for him, right? So, you know, so let's get this back up on the table and I'll carve some dogwood flowers on it. Just something real simple.
Okay. I got the flowers carved on. Somehow I managed to tweak out a wood spirit in there out of this rotten, punky wood. So you know, guys, when a friend of you, friend of yours, wants to bring you a piece of wood like this, and um, let me ex just explain it. They bring you a piece of wood like this and carve it. I'm getting paid for this, but you know, when the, the when your friends come over, they bring you this rotten wood. Want you to carve it for well, a good, for cheap price. To say, oh, I've changed the name of my carving uh, company. He'll be like, yeah, well, what's the name? Say, well, it's called Magic Carving. He'll be like, Magic Carving? Well, why do you carve it Magic Carving? And you'd be like, well, I call it Magic Carving because I don't even carve it in the magic curves. It's goddamn self. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now it's time to pull out the mount tools. I got this triangle cutter on my boss's grinder and I'm gonna carve a bunch of lines all throughout here just to give it some texture and whatever. Let magic hands do it! So you can see here I used the Mampa tool here. I burnt it. I'll clean all that up. I'm not going to burn this wood spirit because it's just too punky and rotten. But look who showed up. It's Big Bad Gord. Gord is the guy that brought the fucking chicken coop thing. The birdhouse. How do you like the birdhouse, Gord? Pretty freaking sweet. Okay, wicked. Like yeah, that's okay. a nice one. It's yeah, one so best, this... Best ones, I think. Thanks, Gord. Yeah. This is his uh, for his yard too. So, you guys, I got this... Uh, finger sander I've had it for a couple of years I've never used it it's a proxen tool proxens are good tools you ever heard those tools Gord no, yeah they're good quality tools I think anyways but it's a little finger sander so I figured now's an opportunity to use it so I got these flowers carved on here and some petals so now I can use the finger sander for around these edges like these get rid of these cut marks so I don't have to burn too close to here because if I burn too close to here I'll burn away the petals right so I'm going to run around and clean up these edges with this little finger sander. And uh, I'll get Gord to film. Can you film, Gord? Yep. Okay. Okay, so Gordy's still ha standing here fucking micromanaging me. Hey, Gordy? Yeah. It's like somebody fucking standing over watching you, what you're doing. So the, I'm going to do these. I put some pedals in there, Gordy's well, request. The foreman on the job. Yeah, well, he thinks he's the foreman. <laughs> so anyways, he, I'm going to do these pedals red. I'm going to sand them. I'm going to do the, the leaves green. I'll sand it, make it look antiqued. And then it's fucking, fucking right. So, okay, guys, so these little, uh, Gordy's gone now. Thank God. Anyway, just kidding. Anyways, these little finger sanders are sure great for uh, doing some sanding. You know, I just painted those flowers quickly, hit them with this little finger sander, and uh, yeah. You know, too bad I can't get the, the sea tall gourd he's going to put on here, because that's when everything will really pop, right? But you can see the hidden wood spirit, wood spirit in there. The flowers are done. And uh, suckling plant holders. Suckling plant holder there. Maybe if I carve a little owl or eagle or something or whatever, Gordy might want to buy it and put it up here. But so maybe I'll get Gordy to take a picture of it uh, after he puts the sea toll on it and um, show how much everything really pops when it's done, right? So guys, I got to pack up my tools. 
I've topped Gordy into not using this piece of wood as it's just way too rotten. It's just a rotten piece of shit, right? So, and uh, so this is gonna cut up for firewood. And then uh, we'll go down to the beach and since he's in town, I told him I'll meet him down there and I'll take my bigger, uh, the biggest saw I got is my 034 and uh, see if we can get one of these roots and I'll cut and I'll work on that for him instead of working on this. It's just, it's just like a, you know, gold plating a pinto car, right? So, or whatever, a shitty car, right? So anyways, I got lots of wrapping up to do. I got to drop all these tools off at home. I hope this video helps somebody um, to show them all the different tools and carving burrs and everything that I use. And guys, I really love these manpa tools. And I'm not trying to sell them to you guys. I'm not trying to sell them to you. Oh, and another thing, that finger sander. I am going to be getting the bigger Makito one, right? That has a thicker thing. Because I see lots of pro chain saw carvers like that uh, Ryan Cook. He uses the bigger Makito one and it's thicker. And he does lots of shaping on his chainsaw carvings with that, right? Okay guys, so hope everybody's good and this video will be up later today. You can't win them all guys, but the flowers really made it uh, brighten up. Alright guys, I just had to back up and I got something to show you. I just got home. And what is waiting for me on my stool? Four croissants and some apple fritters. It just rules having neighbors that own a bakery. What do you say about that, Lee? Hey, what do you say? <laughs> ah, yes, Jordy gets. Ah. Mm.